Hello viewer, welcome to Hope Channel Kenya. Welcome to Lift Up Your Hearts, a prayer program where we lift up our hearts to God in prayer, fellowshipping together, sharing testimonies on answered prayer, and praying together. Uh, tonight with me in the studio again is our sister Lydia Tate. Lydia Tate uh, testified um, a little while ago on this channel and was a blessing uh, to to us mm -hmm. and we said okay she's leaving back for the US and we said we will have all the testimony that she can give us mm -hmm. she cannot give us all of it but we will be blessed again today mm -hmm. and so please pray with us as we listen and uh, may God bless you and at the end of today's uh, program, we will join uh, we will join Becky Arunga with the ten days of prayer. Amen. So do not go away. Stay with us. And before we go on in the program, let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless your holy name. Amen. Lord our God, we worship you, we magnify you, we exalt you, we acknowledge that you alone are God. There's none other beside you, the creator of the universe, the God of all flesh, the one who inhabits eternity. You are God tonight, our God and our Father. We bless your holy name. Mm. Thank you, Lord our God, for the gift of life. Thank you for bringing us together again, that Thank we you, may Lord. fellowship together, that we may seek your face, that we may share testimonies of what you are doing mm -hmm. in the lives of your people mm -hmm. and what you can do for those who are watching, those who are listening. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord our God, be with us. Be with us, oh, Lord our God. Mm -hmm. Minister your grace to your people. Thank you, Father, because you know each one wherever they are. Thank you, Lord our God, because you know their situations. Mm -hmm. Father, minister to your people tonight. Mm -hmm. Meet each one at the point of their needs. And as we pray, Father, answer us, O oh Lord, mm -hmm. and be glorified, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Okay. Welcome back, dear viewer. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching Hope Channel Kenya. Uh, tonight, we will go straight on to uh, Lydia's continuing testimony, even as we wait to join uh, Becky on uh, the 10 days of prayer. Amen. Well, thank you very much for having me again, uh, Sister Edwina. Um, I've really enjoyed my stay here in Kenya and um, you know, I'm as uh, Sister Edwina said, I'm getting ready to leave, um, but I really wanted to just continue encouraging my brothers and sisters here in Kenya Amen. with um, the hope in Christ. Amen. Um, uh, you know, today I want to talk to you about blessings in brokenness, uh -huh. Sister Edwina. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord has truly been good what to me. What is blessings in brokenness? Blessings in brokenness, mm. my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Many times, you know, we, we go through so many things, you know, mm. we go through, we, we have our own plans in life. We Maybe let me just bring yes. uh, the new viewer okay. who was not with us on board. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, certainly. Uh, dear viewer, last time uh, Lydia shared her life with us, mm -hmm. how uh, she met this young man, this, this guy who presented himself as a very good Christian, actually from a very good background, and dated her, and they had a wonderful wedding. Mm -hmm. But all the while, he had a plan. Mm -hmm. 
uh, because she's a US citizen he had a plan to catch her so that he could get US citizenship and as soon as he got the papers he took off and of course I'm summarizing but it it was not an easy place to be um, she suddenly fell ill God knows what made her ill but she had to go to hospital mm -hmm. and coming back from hospital there was no trace of him mm -hmm. not even the wedding pictures he took everything mm -hmm. everything that was a trace of himself he took away from her and uh, so she's uh, God answered her prayer in a very unique way mm -hmm. instead of God instantly healing up her pain. God brought many women to her, women that she had not seen for a long time, but brought them to her with their stories mm -hmm. of brokenness, mm -hmm. how they had been hurt. And out of that was, was birthed a ministry. Mm -hmm for those who are broken. Amen. So uh, tonight Lydia is sharing mm -hmm. with us a testimony on, uh, she's, she's called it blessing, a blessing in brokenness. Blessing in brokenness. Yes. So dear viewer, be blessed. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pretty good summary. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, uh, just like my sister Duna shared, um, there, you know, my story is very unique. Perhaps not just to myself, but to many young men and women out there who have found themselves in very vulnerable situations and uh, found yourself being very broken uh, in a way that you never imagined that you could be broken. Um, and, you know, I just... I'm, sh I'm sharing this with you because I feel like somebody out there needs to know that there is hope uh, even in your broken nuts that when you go through these traumatic experiences like in my case a very um, very unexpected end of a marriage um, and very many consequences to that including physical health um, you know monetary losses um, you know family getting traumatized in one way or another, that God still stepped in, in, in his own loving way. He Amen. stepped in, yeah. uh, Sister Edwina. Mm. Um, you know, I remember <laughs> going to a divorce recovery class uh, at a church nearby. Really, it wasn't a divorce recovery class because I was standing for my marriage. In spite of what was ahead of me, I was standing for my marriage and I said, Lord, you are a God who blesses marriage and I am a believer and there is no way that this is happening in my life at this time so I stood for my marriage mm -hmm. and I trusted God and I, pray, I prayed and I fasted and in my praying and fasting the Lord started bringing these women to, uh, to, to me um, this particular class that I attended was it was called um, severed but not damaged Something about, yes, you severe, you know, you have gone through something. Mm. You've been, you know, your marriage has ended. Many people in the class mm. came in because they were going through the same issues I was going through. And the class ended a little prematurely. And a, a few friends from, a few people from that class became my prayer partners. Mm. And so in that process, my house became the new class. Amen. Um, and and ha that is how we began that class. And then, you know, like Sister Edwina said, God kept sending these women to me. And each one of them had different stories. Uh, one of the sisters was married very long to her high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And she tried to have children many times. She'd had three miscarriages. Mm -hmm. And what, the last miscarriage she had uh, was so traumatic because she also lost her grandparents and she lost a pet which you know if you live in America most people do value their cats and dogs and things like that and she happened to be a lady who really valued her, her dogs and she lost her, her dogs and she was going through a lot um, and somehow just God led her, led her to us. So our group was very diverse and it was very racially mixed as well. Mm -hmm. um, we had a couple of Kenyan ladies, a um, couple of African-American women, 
a couple of white ladies and we had a uh, couple of Asian ladies, you know, just different, different mixture of people mm -hmm. that came consistently and as, you know, time permitted them. Mm -hmm. We had a lady who was married for 20 years and went through a similar situation. A lady who was married for the first time at 50 mm -hmm. and um, experienced the same traumatic, ex uh, uh, traumatic experience. A lady who, uh, one of, of my very good friends, who had lived her life as a Christian for many years and chose to remain, um, you know, clean to wait for her spouse, for the man that God had for her. And she got married at 37 and had never been with anybody else and her marriage ended after two years. So this thing has, does not discriminate. It doesn't say, you don't say today that because I've been good or because I've lived my life this way, when I get married, it's gonna work. No, we have to be very prayerful people mm -hmm. and we have to really, really have a lot of faith in God and we have to be aware that the enemy is real, mm -hmm. you know? It's never really about that person, mm. you know. And when I say blessings and brokenness, yeah, somehow mm. God reveals to you that this isn't really about the person that is doing these evil things to you. Mm. You know, we, we, our fight is not against that human Flesh being. No, mm. because if that was the case, we definitely can win this fight. Mm. And even in the spirit, we can win the fight, yes. But sometimes God allows up some things to happen. Mm. You know, <laughs> I have a dear friend who lost his, his wife at a very young age and it was very, very traumatic for my friend. Mm. And we continue to pray for him, but he, he struggles with dealing with this because it's something that you don't, you don't get up, you don't prescribe to mm. lose your partner. Mm. You know, you don't prescribe to go through a divorce. You don't prescribe to um, lose a family member. Mm. You don't prescribe to be barren, mm. you know. All these things that happen, sometimes we, we just cannot understand, mm. but somehow, sometimes God chooses us to walk through those journeys for one mm. reason or another. So he can use us. Yes, of course, mm. so he can use us. Mm. And in my journey, there have been many blessings, Sister Edwina. Amen. For one, <laughs> I have learned that God loves me. Amen. Unconditionally. Amen. I have learned that his love is so deep. Mm. And I'm not sure if I ever really accepted his love because his love has always been available to me. Mm. I have loved the Lord for many years, so I say, mm. or so I think. But the, the love experience that I received during this moment mm. is just unexplainable. During your brokenness? Yes. It's an ex the peace that I received because I spent a lot of time on my knees, a mm. lot of times mm. on my knees. I spent a lot of times seeking and walking and asking him why. You ran to the Lord yes. rather than humans. Yes, mm. yes. And I, I kept asking him, Lord, you know how I have lived my life. Mm. You know, I have chosen your way versus the other way, mm. you know, and, <laughs> you know, I kept asking, why, why me? Why me? Why would you allow me to go through this? Mm. And yet you know that I, I really have wanted to live right. Mm. And I have lived right, mm. according to me, mm. of course. Hopefully according to him too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but but he, he reminded me in my brokenness that mm. he, he will never leave me, Amen. not forsake me. Amen. There is nobody who can promise you that, Sister mm. Edwina. Mm. Nobody can promise you that, mm. that he will never leave you nor forsake you. They can promise, but they may not keep the promise. Yes, yes. Mm. And nobody can mean it, even mm. if, you know, I'm, I'm saying many times people say it with their lips. And maybe they mean it for that moment. Mm. But I tell you, things During change. Yes, things change. So I think that, you know, in my experience, just just walking with the Lord in those those moments, mm. I'm reminded about uh, the woman with the alabaster box, mm. and um, Sissy Wine sings a song that says, you know, something. Uh, my alabaster box is actually the name of the song. Mm. Um, you can go on YouTube and listen to it. It's a beautiful song, mm. and when I hear that song, I'm reminded that only I know the cost of the oil in my alabaster mm. box. Only I know what God did for me. Amen. You know, only I know how he allowed me to go through this, this dark moment of my life when mm. I couldn't see. 
And when I say couldn't see, I, I mean it. I literally didn't know if I could get my next breath to survive to see another day. Mm. Because in spite of, I in addition to the man living, the enemy was attacking me through everybody around me. Mm. Through people, which, people who were very close to us, people that we had a, a choir. Mm. And uh, it's, this is actually an African choir we sing in Swahili, we sing in, in Luo, in Kisi, and all these other languages. Because, you know, most of us like to sing from Africa. Mm. And so the enemy attacked the group and started using the different people to attack one another beyond just me. Mm. And we had to really get prayerful. Mm. Uh, we had to get prayerful. And you know, unfortunately, most people in the group have gone different directions. But when the enemy comes to attack, he comes mm. to attack. You know, the Bible says that he comes to kill, he comes to steal, and, to and he comes to destroy. It comes like a flood. Yes. And mm. we must be aware mm. when we see those things that they are not of God. Mm. That it's not the person that is in front of us that is doing these things to us, lest we, we forget focus to worship who our Creator mm. is. Lest we forget to really focus on the real, the real deal. Because I feel that my healing came because I recognized who my battle was with. Mm. And I recognized that unless I got spiritual, there was no way I was going to win this battle. Mm. And I thank God for those, those brokenness, those little moments of brokenness, because I feel like he must really love me mm. and he wants to save me. Mm. And for that matter, he will not let me get comfortable, mm. you know. And perhaps I was, uh, I was becoming, you know, com complacent. complacent. And, and he had to do something to say, Lydia, it's time to you know, get a little more spiritual. Mm. It's time to, to really get deep with me. Mm. Um, and I remember even telling this, young, this man that I was married to, you know, we used to pray together every morning. And I remember telling him that I feel like I need more faith. I need more faith. I feel like I just need more. Mm. Um, and he, he didn't say anything. He did not respond. Uh, but funny, he used to tell me he had dreams that I was a preacher. <laughs> it's interesting. But anyway, uh, I asked the Lord to give me more faith. Amen. And later on, I reflected on what I was going through. And I said, God, you really do have a sense of humor. <laughs> you know, you do have a sense of humor because mm -hmm. I asked you for more faith. And like Job, you allowed me to go through this very difficult trial. Mm -hmm. But even in the difficult trial, you still came through for me. Amen. You know, um, I, there are three scriptures that, Sister Edwina, that I really, really embraced during mm. this journey. One of them is Romans 8, mm. 28. Mm -hmm. And that scripture says, all things work together for good. Amen. To those who love the Lord and are called according to His Amen. purpose. His and purpose. Yes, I called according to his purpose, mm. not my purpose, mm -hmm. his purpose. Mm. And, you know, I am so encouraged that even when I am going through trials, which, mm. you know, we all go through them. This mm. is my story. Mm. You have your story. Sister mm. Edwina has her story. Mm. If we are walking with the Lord, we will have these trials. Amen. You know, we, we learned that from the testimony in the book of James, in the, in the book and of the Peter job. as well. Mm. Yes, and Job tells us, you mm. know, talks about his trials. Mm. We will have these trials when, we, when we, we're walking uh, in this journey with the Lord. But he reminds us that all things work together Amen. for good to those who love him. Amen. And my good in this journey has just been getting to know God at a deeper level. Amen. And praying praying for my family, praying Amen. for my children, uh, praying for my loved ones, praying for my church members who perhaps, you know, allowed the enemy to use them one or another to hurt one another. And all the others who are broken. Yes, and all the mm. others who are broken because mm. we are broken. Mm. You know, we are we're broken in many, we just have different types of brokenness. brokenness. Mm. You know, I can't, I, I may not understand how maybe a brother or sister who's lost a child mm. feels. Or, a, or somebody who's lost a spouse feels. I may not totally understand that, mm. um, but I do understand pain, mm. I understand brokenness, mm. I understand that only God can bring us healing. Amen. You know, um, mm. I hear many people say time, I say God brings Amen. us healing. Amen. And He can do it right away. Amen. He can 
allow us to go through it a little longer so we can learn the lesson that he wants us to mm. learn in that journey. So it's good for us to le learn and The fast. sooner we surrender, mm. the better. Mm. The sooner we tell the Lord, here I am. Mm. You know, like Take my, over. Uh, mm. yes. I am a lovely friend. I have a very good friend who we, we share mm. uh, messages with in the U.S. Uh, she's mm. also from Kenya. And, you know, she shared an item when, once it said, you know, what's, what next? Mm. So when she gets in this moment, she says, Lord, what next? Mm. Or what now? Mm. What now? So the sooner we get to a point where we say, what now? Mm. Because what tomorrow may not even come. Mm. This moment, this particular moment mm. is when I need you. Mm. This this minute you know, is when I need God to help me and to give me an answer mm. and to strengthen me so that I can be able to be strong mm. to live through this really challenging time. Amen. You know, mm. and the blessings that God brings is healing, true healing. Amen. I can and talk about this. Yes, mm. I can talk about this honestly. There is nothing in my heart. There is no anger Amen. towards this man. Amen. There is no bitterness towards Amen. this person. Um, and there's so much joy in my heart because I see God's blessings in my life. Mm. I see what He has done in my family, in my Amen. children's lives, Amen. in my professional life even. Amen. The elevation that Amen. has come with this, Amen. Sister Edwina, is astounding. The Lord has shown you oh, that you're not yes. alone. Oh, yes. And that is, oh, yes. He never left you. And can I tell you a secret? Uh -huh. He gives me royal treatment. Amen. Royal treatment, my Hear sister. Give the apple of his eye. Yes. Amen. He gives me royal treatment. It's mm. amazing. Amen. You know, and, and I, I, I laugh sometimes. Mm. I smile sometimes mm. when I'm in the U.S. And, you know, as a single parent or a single woman now, um, when the things that you may encounter, like maybe your vehicle needs a tire change or oil change or something like Haven't that. Haven't I seen yeah. that? <laughs> And he sends an angel. Remember Amen. that when we were together, yeah, yeah. we didn't go looking. Mm. He sent somebody, mm. you Amen. know, and always providing, mm. always filling in the gap where mm. we may perhaps feel like we need somebody, mm. you know. So we don't necessarily have to have a, a woman or a man in our lives because God is really it. Amen. Honestly, God Amen. is really it. Mm. Yes, we, you know, the Bible cr says that we were created for companionship. You know, mm. it's not good for a man to be alone. Mm. Uh, but a man can change his, his, his mind on you. Or a woman can, can change die. her mind. Yes, or can, uh, anything can happen. Yeah. Or we can have, somebody can, can get away. terminal illness. Oh, yeah. Then what do you do? Mm. You know, so, we mm. must we must have faith in Amen. God, in Amen. God alone. Mm. We must have faith Thank in God. Thank you so much, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you. I've been yeah. blessed. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, dear viewer, I believe <laughs> that someone out there, I know Amen. for sure, even as Lydia has said, we have many different kinds of brokenness. Mm -hmm. And um, even in brokenness, there is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And we can be a blessing uh, God has taken us through the book of Job for a reason Amen. that we may be a blessing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the book of Job, God tells, tells uh, Job's friends to go to Job to pray for them. Mm -hmm. God wants us to pray for our Amen. friends and even our enemies. Oh, yes. He wants us to pray for those who are broken. And uh, on that note, Lydia, as we go mm -hmm. into prayer, I'd like you to begin by praying for those who are right now experiencing brokenness mm -hmm. we have uh, yeah and we have some prayer requests here mm -hmm. but let the first one uh, be a prayer uh, for those who are broken okay even as we uh, commit ourselves to the Lord okay we need God and his business is number one Amen. then pray for brokenness Amen. Uh, those who are experiences Amen. Bro brokenness and then we sure, continue. Sure. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the fellowship that we're having today, Father. Thank you for 
my journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you for my sister Edwina's journey. Yes, Lord. Thank you for our brothers and sisters out there who may have different journeys, Father, mm -hmm. who may have experienced brokenness in one way or another. Yes. Thank you even for the ones that have good testimonies, Lord, where yes, you have Lord. seen them through. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the ones that are still in the midst of their pain and trauma. Mm -hmm. Father, because we know that only you, Father, can exist in mm -hmm. their pain. Only you, Father, can bring healing in a special way. Mm. Oh, dear Jehovah, I pray for my friends, Father, my friend in particular that I'm thinking about now who mm. has lost a spouse. Mm. Father, bring healing to him yes, in a so special Lord. way, King of Glory. Lord, we, we, we agree, too. Father, in the name of mm. Jesus, that you are going to bring healing to his yes, heart. Father. Father, I pray for my other friends, Lord, who may be seeking children, Father, and that door has not opened yet. Mm. Father, you gave Hannah a child, and mm. I know, Lord, that you can give them a child too. Father, we pray for our other friends, Lord, who may have divorce on the way mm. or just separations in their marriage. Lord, bring restoration, Father, yes, Father. It be, if it be your will. Bring healing, Father, to the husbands and wives, mm. Father, who may be separated, Father. Mm. And Lord Almighty, Father, and bring healing to those who may be divorced as well, King of Glory. Mm. And Father, for the terminally ill, Father, yes, you, we pray, Father, that you may be the doctor. Mm. Oh, how much joy it would be if we received a testimony, mm. Father, that you have touched somebody mm. and they have been healed from their Amen. terminal illness. Mm. Oh, King of Glory, we lift your name up. We Amen. thank you, Father, because we know that in our blo in our brokenness, Father, mm. your your blessings exist. Mm. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Oh, there's a prayer request here. This person says, Hi, HCK. Pray for me to get a child. It's 12 years. Help me pray to God to bless me with children, Willie. Mm -hmm. um, we remember, uh, Willie, that uh, God answered Anna, Hannah's prayer. Mm -hmm. He answered Elizabeth's prayer, even in old age. He answered Service. Sarah's prayer. He still does the same. Mm -hmm. He's the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We'll just trust in Him. Heavenly Father, in the mm. name of Jesus Christ, we come before you, O Lord our God, for Willie. Mm. Lord our God, you know Willie. You know where they're at, O Lord our God. You know the pain. You know the mockery. You know, mm. you know what they have gone through, O Holy Father, because of childlessness. Mm. Lord, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you come down for... For them, O oh Lord our God, touch their womb. Yes, Lord. Touch them, O oh Holy Father, and give them a baby. Fulfill their joy and be glorified, O oh Lord our God. Forgive our sins, mm. O oh Lord, even as we seek your face. Yes, Search our Lord. hearts. Mercy. If there be anything, O oh Lord our God, that will stop you from hearing us. Mm. Father, uproot, O oh Lord our God. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Mm. Have mercy, O King of Glory, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're going to pray for um, Martha Matthews, who's asking for prayer so that uh, she can get an attachment. Mm. And she has faith, Sister Edwina. She says, mm. in God, everything is possible. Yes. Uh, Sister Matthews, we're going to pray and believe with you. Mm. Oh, Father, we thank you for this sister, Martha Matthews, who believes that in you everything is possible. Yes, Lord. Father, you say that if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, Lord, mm. that we will have the power to even move mountains. Lord, there is nothing that is difficult for you in this case where my sister is requesting for a job. Mm. Father, we pray that you make it possible for her. The Lord, Mary, Father, that your name may be glorified. Mm. Father, let not our prayers go in vain. Oh, mm. Father, let not her faith go in vain. Mm. Lord, you say where three or more, two or more are gathered, there you are. Oh, Father, mm. we, we agree, my sister Edwin and I, mm. for my sister Martha to get a job. Yes, oh Lord, Lord, we thank you, we bless you, and we glorify your yes, name oh in Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Someone else says, praise the Lord. Please pray for peace in my house because people are mocking my husband. Mm and calling him names whenever he tells the truth and reality. 
Heavenly Father, in the name mm. of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this sister who's standing in the gap for her oh, husband. Mother, thank you. She's pa at pain because her husband is mocked and belittled when he tells the truth. Mm. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that he will stand on the truth, that he will not waver when he speaks the truth. And I pray in Jesus' name that you bring peace to this family, yes, O Lord, Lord our God. And in this place, O Heavenly Father, and I pray that you give him courage to mm. always say the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified, I pray in Jesus' name, that they may have a personal encounter mm. with you and be filled with your Holy Spirit. Be glorified in Jesus' okay. name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Mm. Um, the, praise the Lord. Please mm. pray for peace. In, oh, you did that already. Yeah. My name is Brenda. Mm. Please pray for my mom, mm. dad, who doesn't listen to any family member, mm. doesn't care about his responsibility as a father to his family, my husband and his job, my husband my husband to accept Christ. Mm. My health, I'm carrying my third pregnancy after losing the first two. Mm. May God bless me in this nine months mm. journey and become successful in his name. Yes, my s and pray for my siblings wherever they are. Mm. So let us pray for Sister Brenda. Mm. Oh Heavenly Father, mm. we pray for Sister Brenda, Lord, who's had faith to reach out to us, Lord, to agree with her in prayer, Father, for yes, the Lord. issues in her life, Father, in her family. Lord, we pray that you may touch her father, Lord Almighty Father, that he may be soft-hearted, Father. Mm. We know, Lord, that only you can change a man. Mm. Oh, King of Glory, we pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit may fill that home. Yes, Father. Father, that there may be renewal of, sp of spirit, Father, and there may be just a new heart in him, Father, and in his family. Yes, Lord, he is the head of his family, Lord, mm. and we know that it will be well with the family when yes, he submits Lord. to you. Mm. We seek, Father, for, for salvation for him, King Amen. of Glory. Let him see you, Father. Mm. Let your angels go before him and tap him, Father, and mm. remind him, Father, of your goodness, King of glory. Yes, Father, we pray for Brenda's mom too. Lord Almighty Father, bring salvation in her heart Amen. also. And Lord Almighty Father, that that house may be a, fa a family that serves you, King of glory. Mm. And Father, we pray for Sister Brenda who is now um, with child. Mm. Father, children are from you. Mm. Father, we pray that you may keep that child, Father. She has asked, Father, mm. that you may protect her child. And we agree in prayer with her, Father. Mm. Protect that pregnancy, King yes, of Glory. Father. That she may have a safe delivery, mm. Lord Almighty Father. Lord Almighty Father, if she is watching this session right now, Father, we pray, Lord Almighty Father, that you may fill her with comfort, knowing that Amen. she will have a safe delivery. Mm. We thank you for her family. We pray that you may visit her in every area, dear God. Amen. We ask this in Jesus' name. Thing. Amen. Amen. Mm. Uh, someone else says, uh, "Praise God, Hope Channel. Please pray for for a man who almost lost his manhood through the lawn mower. He was in so much pain. He's receiving medication. Heavenly Father, in mm. the name of Jesus Christ." Oh Lord our God, you know the pain of humanity. Lord our God, we thank you for this person who watched this thing happen and has come to you mm -hmm. on behalf of this man, oh Lord our God. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that it shall be well with him. We pray, Holy Father, that dear Lord, you will make him whole again. Mm -hmm. Have mercy on him. Yes, Lord. Be the surgeon. Touch him and heal him, O oh Lord our God. Mm. Take away the pain from him. Mm. And be glorified, O oh Holy Father, for we pray Jesus. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. Okay. Hello, um, Hope. We have five minutes. Yes. Uh, let's mm. pray for my mother who is sick. I'm Betty Bet. Uh, so I pray, do you want to mm. just combine yeah, it? Just, just go to the next no, one? Just go on. Okay. Pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for Sister Betty speak. Oh dear God, mm. we pray that you may bring healing in her home. Mm. Bring healing in her heart, brother, and we pray, Father, that you may touch her whole family, Father, mm. and everybody else who has, who's seeking for healing today, Father. Mm. We pray that you may bring healing, mm. and bring, provi bring provision to all our brothers and sisters who are looking to have jobs, Father. Mm. We thank you and we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, so we uh, will combine these 
Uh, all the people that are looking for jobs, we have we have some somebody who says good evening. Thank you for the amaz amazing testimony. Mm -hmm. Please pray for me to get a job, Maureen. And then we have uh, 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 Dennis from Kirinyaga County who says I want you to pray for me to have my own job, put up my own job. Thank you for the encouraging show. Uh, thank you, Dennis, for that encouragement to us. Thank you, thank you for Maureen for uh, encouraging us. Uh, may God bless you. Then someone else says, uh, "Hi, pray for me to have a job that can uh, cater for my family and me. Also, God to give me the right husband." Um, then we have someone else who says, "I'm Kemunto. Uh, pray for me to so that my children." to succeed in their studies. Mm. And someone else says, hi, please pray for me. Nipate nafsi. Nafsi must be nafasi. Saturday, ya kuabudu naenda job. Dear viewer, uh, on, in this regard, I'd like to tell you that it's a personal relationship with God. You don't need anyone else's permission to obey God. Mm -hmm. It is up to you to obey God, um, even as we pray that the Lord will uh, give you release. Uh, someone else says, please, uh, remember, HCK, remember my bro bro's kid who has eight years old, but he has a problem talking, and he is uh, the only boy they have. Please pray. His name is Bruce. So we have Bruce who has a, a challenge, and we have the others for jobs, including mm -hmm. Ma Mary, mm -hmm. who needs school fees. Please mm -hmm. combine all mm -hmm. as we conclude. Okay. Yes. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we pray for all our brethren who my sister Edwina has mentioned here, mm -hmm. who, need, who have needs in one way or another, Father. Yes. They have need for provision, Father, then they have need for healing, Father. Yes, Lord. They have need for salvation, most importantly, King of Glory. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, we pray that we may, you may show up in Sister Maureen's house. You may show up in Brian's yes, life, Lord. Father. You may show up in the brethren's life that, that mm -hmm. is seeking for duration in keeping the Sabbath holy. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we Lord. Lord Almighty Father, we pray that you may touch every person whose name we have not mentioned mm, here. Dennis. But Father is seeking you. Yes, Lord, we pray Maureen. for Brother Dennis. Mm. We pray for Sister Maureen. Mm. We pray, Father, Kimunto. that you may help Kimunto as well, Lord Almighty Father. Yes, Lord. King of glory, have mercy on these brothers and sisters. Mm. Lord Almighty Father, provide for them. We mm. know, Lord, that you are the provider. Mm. And you say, Lord, that we, rec we, we receive not because we ask not. Mm. But today we are asking, Father, <coughs> on their mm behalf, Lord, that you provide jobs for them in, in Lord Almighty Father, that they may remember, Lord Almighty Father, that you did the provision that they may give back to you, King mm. of Glory. Lord, we thank you because we know that these prayers are answered mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Heavenly Father, even as we conclude, we remember the viewer who's been praying with us, O oh Lord our God whose prayer requests are not with us, mm. but they have prayed with you, O Lord. Uh, they prayed with us to you, O King of Glory, concerning their situation or pray for, praying for someone else. Yes, Father, we pray for them. We thank you, Lord our God, that they have stood in the gap. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you answer them, O Lord our yes, God, King that their glory. joy may be full. We remember all those who are bereaved, O King of Glory, together with the mm. church and family, O Lord our God. Remember Jane, O Heavenly Father, mm. as she mourns our husband mm. together with all those uh, that uh, those children who are crying for their mother who has died mm. and all those who are mourning father comfort them and give mm. them peace of mind yes, and father we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you revive us in this mm. the last days O Lord revive us that we may rejoice in you revive us again revive us to live holy lives yes, revive us to be Lord. your witnesses oh, yes, revive us that father. we may be able to stand in these last yes, days O Holy Jehovah. Father have mercy on Mercy us Lord. and help us, O Lord our God, not to hold back, O mm. King of glory, but to witness for you and to testify of your goodness. Mm. Be glorified, O Holy Father. Thank we you, bless Father. your name. We worship you. We magnify you, O Holy Thank Father, you, even as we join um, uh, uh, our sister Arunga, O Heavenly Father, yes, Father, in the 10 days of prayer. 
We pray in Jesus' name that these 10 days of prayer, O oh Lord, our God, mm. oh, Heavenly Father, that you be manifest, mm. O oh Lord, among your people. For yes, we pray Jehovah. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And dear viewer, thank you so much for staying mm. with us and watching Lift Up Your Hearts. And now we will join our sister, Becky Arunga, uh, in, uh, in the 10 days of prayer. Mm -hmm. Continue to pray. Remember, God is listening. And may you be revived and may your prayers be answered in these 10 days of prayer as you fast and pray. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name, continue to watch Hope Channel Kenya. Stay with us. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And my sister. Thank you so Thank much you as you go much. away. Yes. May the Lord go before Amen. you, be behind you, Amen. and surround you and with his presence. Yes. Continue Amen. to be a blessing. Amen. Thank you. Indeed, much thanks, Mrs. Sombaido, for this session of prayer that we have together and that which you have just led. Indeed, the Lord is faithful, and as often as we seek His face, He is mighty to save, and He is able to guide us in the paths of righteousness, of course, for His own name's sake. I welcome you once again, viewer most beloved, that you may tarry a little bit longer in prayer, even as we want to study the Lord's word, as we join together with other believers worldwide in this season of 10 days of prayer. How beautiful it is to commence the first days of your year, seeking the face of God, to learn of his patient ways, and to know his perfect will in your life. I am Becky Arunga. I invite you to spare these few minutes. We make our opening prayer and thereafter delve into studying the word of God and knowing exactly that which he has prepared for us. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, it is a privilege to be called by your name. That we answer to the name of Christ is a privilege that we cannot take for granted. Now that you have invited us into your presence, in this season of prayer we seek your face, that we may have an experience with you like none other. As we tap into the heavenly blessing, we pray that you may grant unto us a refreshing. Now for these few moments, Lord, we just want to tarry in your presence, to learn of your patient ways, and to seek guidance for our 2017. For you alone are able to lead us and guide us all the way. Now may your spirit of truth be our teacher, to guide us in all truth, that you may be thoroughly and truly sanctified in your word, even as you wait in joyful hope for the soon return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us. It is the 10 days of prayer program. Those who are joining us, we pray that the Lord may sustain you through it all, even as we seek to learn about a living sanctuary. A living sanctuary is going to be our running theme in this entire season of 10 days of prayer. And perhaps you may be wondering, why are we talking about 10 days of prayer? Why isn't it 7 days? Or why isn't it 3 days? Why specifically 10? And my thoughts are directed to the experience of the disciples of Christ Jesus. After his ascension to heaven, they were cognizant of the fact that Jesus had said that they should tarry in Jerusalem until he sent unto them a helper, a comforter who was to guide them in all truth. On account of that, the disciples of Jesus Christ went into an upper room. When they were in the upper room, they all tarried in prayer, giving thanks, in supplication, 
And it is interesting to note that it is during that season of prayer that they were able to select Matthias to replace Judas, who had since died, who had been one of the twelve. And so by the much power that they obtained through prayer, we found the culmination of the event in the Pentecost. And that is the desire of every Christian. That is my desire, that the Lord may fill me with his Holy Spirit, especially in these last days, to enable me and many other like-minded Christians to spread the everlasting gospel of the Lord in the context of the three angels' message of Revelation 14, verse 6 up to 12. Knowing too well, that the Lord is reminding us that this hour of judgment is come, and we should worship him. And this message is not for a particular minority. It is meant for every nation, every tribe, every tongue, and every kindred, be that as it may. Today, we want to begin our journey of a living sanctuary by thanking God for all the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. I'm reminded of the sanctuary message we did learn in the better part of last year when we had a series led by Pastor Geoffrey Mbwana called Madabahu Ya Dahabu. At least it gave us a glimpse of what the sanctuary is all about. And so during these 10 days, we're going to study how as mankind, as Christians, as the people of God who are called by his name, we are going to offer ourselves as living sacrifices unto our God, holy and acceptable. For that, the Bible says, is our reasonable service. Now, our thought and our key text for today is from the book of Psalm 100. For us to really understand the concept of the sanctuary, we, know to, we need to know that for us to enter the sanctuary, we must enter through a particular gate. We must enter through the gate. And in the model, the gate was on the east. But then how do we get into the sanctuary? How does the Lord require of us to get into his presence? Despite the vicissitudes of life, the problems we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, God requires of us to enter his temple, to enter his sanctuary, to enter his tabernacles in a particular way. Read with me Psalm 100 verse 4. I'm reading from the New King James Version Bible. Follow from your own version. Scripture says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. I repeat, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. What a beautiful verse scripture has given unto us. I'm reminded of the many times that we go to the house of prayer when we have burdens over our shoulders, when we have cares, sorrows, joys, and distresses that we desire that the Lord knows. And sometimes we feel that God has let us down. Sometimes we feel as if our problems have taken the entire toll of our system and we have nothing in thanksgiving to offer to God. Yet today, this word sounds so loud and clear. And especially now that we are in the first days of the year, it makes more sense. It matters not how your 2016 had been, but it does matter that by the mercies of God, you are present today to witness his beautiful and marvelous deeds. And so despite all that you have gone through, despite the fact that you have said amen to your prayers and in your life you feel like it is still raining, this is what the Lord says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Why so? Why does God require us to enter his gates with thanksgiving? I am persuaded to believe that we enter his gates with thanksgiving because in the presence of the Lord, there is not only fullness of joy, but also abundance of mercy and pardon. He comes to us in a special way to mean that though we enter into his temple, Though we enter into his gates having burdens that we want to bear to him, there is this assurance deep within our hearts that to every sincere prayer an answer shall come. And so we enter his gates thanking him 
Even before we witness the answered prayer. Why? He is a faithful God. He is mighty to save. And he is always there for us. In fact, he, he affirms to us that he shall in no wise cast us out if we seek him and come to his temple. Secondly, the verse says, and into his courts with praise. Oh my, what beautiful word is used there. Enter his courts with praise. Now that you've entered his gates with thanksgiving, when you leave the gate, you enter into the courts. And God is saying, enter his courts with praise. Now well, for a moment, think of this. The sanctuary system was God's way of revealing his plan of salvation. And oftentimes, the sinner would come through the gate of the sanctuary carrying the lamb without blemish that was to be the offering or the sacrifice for his sin. You can imagine coming before the Lord with your sin, with a sin that has burdened your soul. And scripture is saying, no matter that sin that has burdened your soul, enter that gate with thanksgiving and now enter into that court of the Lord with praise. How do you praise God when sin has taken toll over you? How do you praise God when you feel really burdened? It is possible, beloved. Why? Because that very God whom you seek to praise, you do not only praise him in seasons of joy, but also in seasons of grief because he is with you even unto the end of the age. Just like a hand covers its cheeks so that the Lord cover his people. So despite the problem, despite the burden, despite the disease, the sickness, the illness, the infirmity, name them. God is saying, enter his courts with praise. No wonder we always say God is worthy of honor and praise because he is God. And then the verse concludes by saying, be thankful to him and bless his name. Be thankful to God. Thankful in all things, patient in tribulation, because God desires that we give thanks for that which he has blessed us with. Today, beloved, that very Psalm 100 verse 3 has this to say. Because you may be asking, why did verse 4 require of us to enter his gates with thanksgiving, to come into his courts with praise, and to be thankful and bless his name? It is for this one reason. Verse 3, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. If there be one thing I want us to appreciate as we commence our 10 days of prayer, as we seek the face of the Lord to claim his promise, that we should know that God is God. Let God be God. Let us not fix him in our thoughts, for his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Let us not fix him in our ideals of life, for he remains to be God. Continues to say verse 3, It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. Now if God has made us, certainly he has the blueprint of our life, and how we ought to live. Why are you taking time worrying over things that you cannot change? Jesus asked, who among you by worrying can add a gate to his stature? I mean, can make himself or herself a bit taller? Or can add a strand of hair to his or her head? Certainly none of us. Therefore, God calls upon us and says, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Finally, it says, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Knowing how the sheep are, the sheep follow the shepherd. They hear his voice and they are directed by the shepherd. Today, we enter into the gates of God with thanksgiving. I do not know what problems you have, but can you just find one thing to thank God for? Can you just find one thing that you think God deserves to be praised for having done. That is the beginning of the journey to being a living sanctuary. 
appreciating that God in his marvelous grace and mercy has opened the plan of redemption and salvation. That you and I may not be entirely lost, but we may have a portion in the kingdom of God. That you may have a chance to be called children of God. That we may have a chance to praise and worship God in the beauty of his holiness. Therefore, the Lord invites all of us as we begin these 10 days of prayer to enter his courts with praise, to enter his tabernacles with thanksgiving, to bless his holy name and be thankful. You may be wondering why I insist on being thankful. Let's just read Romans chapter 8 verse 28 before we get into a season of bringing all our prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving alike to God. Now Romans chapter 8 verse 28, scripture tells us this one promise that we must and need to have fixed in our minds. It says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Beloved, are you a Christian? Aren't you called by the name of Christ? Aren't you a Christian because you follow Jesus? You definitely now fit in the category of the people of God who are called by his name. And you have chosen to be in his service. You have chosen to daily pick your cross and follow him. No matter what has happened, this is what God speaks to us today. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. I invite you to the presence of this God who does all things well. I invite you to this very God whose heart is touched with your grief, that during this season of 10 days, you may present your prayer to him. Is your son struggling with drug addiction? Is your spouse struggling with alcoholism? Is your marriage on the verge of breaking down? Is your Christian walk with God dwindling? Are you struggling to find your purpose in life? Look no further than the cross. As you seek God in prayer, he's able to provide. Are you struggling with unemployment? Are you in need of a spouse? Are you weak? Are you heavy laden and weary? Tell it to Jesus alone, for he shall save you. The prayer requests that you may be having in our hearts, I desire that we enjoy them together. Seek the Lord in prayer, that he may make us to be a living sanctuary, pure and holy, so true, set apart, that we all may be living sanctuaries. Wherever you are, I invite you, pause a moment, reflect on your life, the past year, the past days until this day that we are in, and see the goodness of the Lord in your life, and ask yourself, is there one thing that I seek to thank the Lord for? If you have it in mind, join me as we share in this prayer. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our Father, indeed you are holy and the fountain of all holiness. Thus far, by your grace, we have come, and we are certain that that very grace shall lead us home. When we behold the universe, the works of your hands, surely it is true that all the creatures that borrow life from thee are subject to your care. You sustain us by your divine love. You uphold us with your righteous right hand. We have come seeking your face, that this one more time we may walk with you. We have come praising and exalting you for the great things you have done and the greatest that you have taught us. But the purest of them all will be the wonder and the comfort when we see you, dear Jesus, in the, in the clouds. Now we come seeking your face, first confessing any sin that may prevent you from answering our prayer. For against you alone, Lord, do we sin. Our thoughts are impure. 
Our motives are wanting. Our actions are full of malice, jealousy, anger, strife. And we are unable to love our neighbors as you have commanded us to. We do not even have love for our family members. Neither do we have love for sinners who are perishing. And by the word of our mouth, we have left them to wallow deeper and deeper into sin. We ask you, Lord, forgive us, cleanse us, hold us near to your heart. Prevent our eyes from beholding vanity, that iniquity may not have dominion over us. We have forgotten to count our blessings. Because of the adversity of this time, all we see are problems. We forget that in those problems, you make and show yourself strong, that you may perfect that which concerns us. We forget that in those problems, you have chosen to reveal the grandeur of your kingdom. Now, Heavenly Father, we have learned because you have taught us. And one more time, we come counting our blessing. Counting that there is still breath in our nostrils for us to amend our ways that are wanting before you. Counting that we still have breath in our nostrils to continue hoping and waiting that Christ will come again and save us from this world of sin. We still have breath in our nostrils and in that way we are able to witness by precept and example that all the wayward people may come to the knowledge of the truth. That we are still alive, that we may tarry on our knees for that son who is a drunkard, for that daughter who has lost the way, for that spouse who has entered into adultery, for that child who is seeking for employment, for that child whose education is going on the downward trail, for the church minister who's forgotten his work and his duty, for the church officers who are no longer seeking your face, Lord, forgive us. Now we come to say thank you one more time because you are good and your mercy endure forever. Your mercies endure us in all generations. We say thank you for teaching us through the sanctuary, the message and the plan of redemption. I say thank you for my dear viewer who has taken time to seek your face. You know that which is thanking you for. Lord, may the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable before your sight. Moving forward, we are still thankful for we claim that you shall be with us even unto the end of the age. To you only wise God, we pray that you may do unto us exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to that power, your power that works in us. To this end, we pray believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much that you may seek the face of the Lord daily. Remember today to count your blessings, that which he has done to you. Tomorrow, we continue with our study on the sanctuary. And this one more time, we shall begin with the emblems of the sanctuary, the emblem of the altar of sacrifice. Today, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Maintain a joyful countenance and know that the Lord will take care of you no matter the situation. Till next time, be blessed. May the Lord be with you.